So AOC once again roasted Ted Cruz on Twitter. This Ted Cruz AOC eternal war is getting pretty interesting. It's almost to the point where they're pretty much like mortal enemies at this point, uh, which is pretty interesting. Uh, AOC had sent out a response. Now Ted Cruz posted this tweet. Where it's a picture of him really giddy uh, with Donald Trump at a restaurant or Mar in Mar-a-Lago at a table together and the tweet is actually pretty surprising it's a massive deal he says had a great dinner tonight with president trump at mar-a-lago he's in great spirits we spent the evening talking about working together to retake the house and senate in 2022 this is a massive deal this is a republican senator a pretty high profile if not the most high profile one uh in the republican party openly saying that you know He's going to be working together with Donald Trump. That can also imply that there's other GOP members who are working together with Trump to retake the House and the Senate. And that's why there's this war going on inside of the GOP with Liz Cheney because uh, Trump apparently has a lot of influence still uh, in the Republican Party and he may even be the leading figure continuously you know, at this moment, which is... This is really surprising for Ted Cruz to tweet out, especially after, you know, his vote on challenging the election results, uh, what Trump did in terms of inciting the mob on January 6th, um, you know, uh, Donald Trump making fun of his wife, you know, saying that his dad killed JFK. I mean, Ted Cruz is the ultimate definition of a, just a bitch, man, a total pussy. Um, AOC then responded saying nothing like reminiscing about attempted coups over a bouquet of flowers. I don't, I don't even know what emoji this is. An ogre, Japanese ogre is what it's saying. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be, I guess that's supposed to mean that that's them. That's a representation of what they are. Um, but it's interesting, obviously, because AOC has been highly, highly and continuously and consistently critical of Ted Cruz for his role. If you remember that video of him like a day or so before uh, what happened on January 6th, he was saying, you know, we're not going to be silenced in the night, you know, so something like that. You know, it was clearly inciting some kind of mob to go. He's saying, we're not going to go down in the night, you know, we're going to do this or whatever. It, it was pretty clear what exactly he was doing. And then even after that, he still voted to challenge the election results. So I don't know if like the mainstream GOP senators are like, you know, fuck you, Ted. Uh, and so he's teaming up with Trump because that's his only hope. If that's his only option. But do remember that the establishment, I don't know how the establishment, Republican establishment feels about Ted Cruz at this point, but the establishment hated Ted Cruz. Um, John McCain didn't like him. None of those guys liked him. Ted Cruz was the Tea Party douchebag that everybody hated because he was blocking uh, government from bare bones functioning. So honestly, I believe that if there was a person in second place in the Republican primary, which is what Ted Cruz was, if it was somebody who the Republican establishment liked, they would have coalesced around that person, got everybody else to drop out, came together around the second place person, uh, just like the Democrats did in the 2020 primary for Joe Biden. But they fucking hate Ted Cruz. So, you know, it's not surprising in that way, but it's still surprising to me because it really goes to show you how much power Donald Trump still has, and he may still be the leader of the Republican Party at this point. And it's like, damn, you got to keep in mind the Republican Party is inside of a huge civil war right now, a massive civil war. And that's why it's going to be tough to figure out what are they going to do.